What up, what up, what up? It's your boy JB coming back at you, man. Welcome back to the channel. Y'all do me a favor. As soon as you come into the building, man, mash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications, man. I had to jump in here real fast. Harrison Bucker career may be over. Harrison Bucker's career may be over. Now, guys, I don't know if you're familiar, but Harrison Bucker did a uh, speech at a, a graduation, a college graduation, and he was the keynote speaker. And let's just say he had a conservative approach uh, to the role of women in the house and that kind of thing. And it has gone viral. Now, why am I doing this video? Not because I agree with what Harrison Bucker said or I disagree with what Harrison Bucker said. I just wish that professional athletes would realize that whoever told them that they are professional athletes and they have a platform should stop lying to them. Guys, if, if, if you're a professional athlete, if you are a celebrity, if you don't own it, nobody should hear what your personal beliefs are. That goes for the person at the lowest level of the company and at the highest level of the company. Guys, this is all about business. The only thing Harrison Bucker should be talking about is how to help people become a better field goal kicker. Why? That's what he's getting paid to do. Now, I'm not that guy that's saying stick to sports. What I am trying to say, though, guys, is that how many more athletes do we have to see, or celebrities, do we have to see, believe that they can say their opinion without backlash? And especially when you're talking about gender issues, especially when you're talking about social issues. Guys, if you're in the marketplace and if you're doing business, the only thing Harrison, if Harrison Butker is not being invited to talk about field goal kicking or be talking about football, there's no reason for him to be there. Guys, stop losing out on opportunities whether you make a minimum wage or whether you're making millions, you cannot voice your personal opinions on anything. Even though you have a right to free speech and even though you have a right to your opinion, if you're speaking publicly and you know that this country is divided, it's not even worth you giving that opinion. Now, granted, that college asked you to speak because they knew what you would say. But you have to recognize, too, that if you lose your opportunity with the Chiefs or you lose your opportunity with the National Football League, nobody's going to want to have you speak. So for everybody out there, again, whether you make minimum wage or whether you make millions or billions, your personal opinion should stay to yourself. Because at the end of the day, sports is where we where we flock to because it's a meritocracy. It's you are there because you're the best. You're the best person. Uh, at that position for your team. Patrick Mahomes hadn't come out and defended him. Travis Kelsey has not come out and defended him. Guys, I don't know if he's a member of the Kansas City Chiefs next year. The NFL has come out and condemned him. And again, this is not whether you agree or disagree with his position. But I think we need to go back to the old school days where in business, we only talk about business. Nobody knew your religion and nobody knew your politics. Because if we don't get back to that, you're going to see a lot of people losing their opportunities, losing their high paid professions because they're being told to go confess what they believe personally by the people in their circle who don't have the opportunity that they have. Guys, I hope this ain't the end for Harrison Bucker, but it's looking like it because at the end of the day, whether you agree or disagree with him, nobody wants to hear your personal opinion when it's time for business. Y'all get down in the comment section, man. Let me know what you think. Is Jeff crazy? Or is Jeff on the sun? If you hadn't already, mash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications. And until next time, I'm going to holler.